Hey everybody, Todd from Juno Bait coming at you with today's Catch 365 tip. Okay, not our, our perfect attendance record wasn't exactly intact anyway, but we did miss a couple days. It happens. Busy few days. Wanted to get some filming done and just kind of missed it. So, our bad on that one. One thing that I've talked about before a fair amount is throwing spool tacks, jigs for snook, tarpon, stuff like that. And we've talked some about presentation, where to place it, how you want to um, you know, cast and wind in relation to the tide. One thing that we don't talk about a lot is just the actual retrieve of the baits. And one common mistake that's made with both of these lures is doing too much. You know, casting, throwing it, sinking, reeling up, down, jigging, you know, getting these lures up and down. Snook are not going to relate to things changing drastically in and out of their strike zone, up and down. A slow, constant retrieve, whether that is up near the surface, mid-water column, or down near the bottom, is going to be your best retrieve with both a jig and a swim bait like a spool tack, a tsunami swim bait like I talk about, any of those. Just cast it, slow, steady wind. Um, you know, Like I said, you can mix it up with where it's at in the water column. But if it's just steady right through there, that's going to be much more natural. Bait fish, generally speaking, are not up and down like this. They're going to be swimming here. Yeah. Will this get a bite every once in a while? Yeah, probably. If casting and winding doesn't get you a bite, mix it up always. It's worth a shot. But for the most part, cast, wind, repeat. As always, thanks for watching, everybody.